Right, I haven't done a vlog in ages, so I thought it was time for an update. So, uh, yeah, it's now March, early March, and I've got a confession. So basically, my uh, the idea of going to the gym, like loads of times in over January and February and March, was sort of, so I went in January quite a bit, then February, for the first like two weeks, and it sort of drifted off because I had other priorities. So I was working on music loads. So there's that latest track, Calvin Harris, Giants, or Giant, and uh, yeah, I did a remix of that because it was quite new, so I thought, right, sod it, let's just focus on that. So, yeah, essentially, if you want to go to the gym, you've got to think of it as, like, a quick thing rather than a massive session. So a lot, some people I know like to go there, bring the towel left in, and use lockers and sort of have a shower after afterwards and make a big deal of it, especially if it's, like, at a, like, uh, a thingy, what's it called? A leisure centre, that's it, with a pool and everything and a sauna. So... I don't like that because it means that you've got to dedicate like an hour or two of your time to make a big thing of the gym and go in there. And if it's like Friday night, 9 p.m., you can't really be asked doing that. So it's like, yeah, so the idea is like my gym sessions are maybe half an hour, 45 minutes max. And it takes me about 10 minutes to drive here like to the gym, which is where I am now. So I've just finished a session. Uh, but yeah, I was going to go last night, but my theory is that even if you postpone what you're doing like if it's the night or an evening and you think no I can't be bothered as long as you go the next morning or ASAP and don't let anything else get in the way then that counts and that's fine so when people say oh you're too lazy to go to the gym and if you think mentally you're too lazy as long as you go within like a 24 hour period that makes up for it in my mind anyway so I've just been now and it's what time is it about 11 a.m. on Saturday morning so uh, yes yeah, so I thought it's best getting a lot because it was like half 11 I was debating whether to go last night at like half 11 and I was like nope sorry let's just get to bed and because uh, I'm not going out or anything let's just get to bed and then tomorrow in the morning before I do anything go to the gym so yeah that's what I did so now I feel better and as long as it's like a continuous process that's the main thing but the thing is you've got to enjoy what you're doing if it's like a uh, what's it called if it's like a thing that you have to do like and you don't want to then it's gonna be harder. So I think if you pick something to do with the gym that you like, like I like the sort of buzz that you get from it. And as well as it's done, I like being tired or exhausted afterwards. So now I'm sort of like catching my breath because it's a little bit cardio when you're doing, well, I, I don't do any cardio at the gym. I just do cardio at kickboxing because there's no point because I'll just lose weight massively. Uh, so yeah, that's what I do, the weights. and But it still gets you out of breath because obviously you're using your, your body and your heart's pumping your blood around and everything. So it's still a bit of cardio involved, like inadvertently while you're doing weights but yeah as long as you enjoy certain bits of it so I, I look forward to the bit after the gym where I feel a bit knackered and tired because you still get a kick you get like adrenaline in some sense so I I, I thrive off kicks like it, with anything so basically you want to do that at the gym and I get a kick from it that's what sort of keeps me going so uh, yeah and I'm trying to go three times a week now where whenever I can but as I've got full-time work like nine to five I get up like 7 30 in the morning I was not. It's not that early. I'm not. I'm not trying to say it's like super early, but it's still a long day. So I get back from work about 7 p.m. from Manchester to Warrington, uh, and yeah, from that point onwards, I only have five hours really of my like, time to do things, and I don't watch Netflix or anything. So I just try and like focus on what I'm trying to do. So music is a big thing, but that takes ages. So I can literally spend three hours just on one bit of a track, just trying to get it right, and. If you're looking for perfection, then that can take, like, you can never, sometimes you don't ever finish a track, like, which is the case for me. But I'm trying to get 12 tracks released in this year, so I'm still hammering away with that. Uh, I did get one published, that remix, but it got taken down from SoundCloud and YouTube. So that Calvin Harris, uh, Rag and Bone Man remix, it, I was well known with that, because it, it was doing well as well on SoundCloud. It got, like, 1,200 plays and, like, about 60 likes. So, uh, yeah, that did quite well. It's still on Digital DJ Pool, though, to be fair, and it's rank 15 out of, like, 10,000, so it's on the charts of that, so that's really good. But it's just I've got no, like, long-term proof to, like, labels in the future on the SoundCloud, so that's annoying. I might just do a remix of it, but include... Because I basically included every single word of the song, I did a remix on top of the original lyrics. So all I stole, all, stole, all I used from the original track were the lyrics. And obviously that's copyright, so... I understand why, it's just annoying because like, other people get away with it, but I didn't on this occasion, so yeah. Uh, but what I might do is just try and do like a 
a vocal like ambient remix like where it's not actually clear what the words are it's just you can hear the sounds and everything like I'm gonna give it a go anyway and see if that is accepted on SoundCloud if not because you get a strike every time you put something on that's copyright and I think three strikes and your account's dead so I don't want that to happen so gonna be careful but yeah so in the meantime working on more music I've got a release coming soon that I'm gonna try and finish this week so it's a way up between doing different timings and what you have priority when and everything so I miss kickboxing as well one week for that but uh, yeah different priorities really but things are going well and also one thing I want to say on this vlog in particular is a few days ago or I've had this idea for like three years ago just not really thought of it much but it's an idea related to an event based on the way music is played at events so I'm not going to say any more because I don't want to give it away but I just want to sort of put a timestamp on this moment, this occasion when I initiated the idea. And I've got a mate as well, I've got a couple of mates who are up for it, like starting this event thing, but it's like, I'm not saying any more yet, but this is the point when I had the idea and I'm now acting on it. And I'll see how long it takes to become reality because I only see how it can become reality. I, I don't see it failing, although it, likeness is that it might fail but i see it i can only visualize it being successful same with ling online i can't visualize it any other way and i think that's a positive thing because my naivety of thinking yeah it'll work sort of stops me from getting demotivated because i get a kick of excitement from trying new things and i think i think it'd be fun to do i'm not thinking of it like as, as a massive money making idea I was like, Lingo, I would have given up, given up with that ages ago if it, if I was thinking, oh, this isn't going to make any money. I would have given up on it ages ago. So it's not for that. It's just for that excitement. So I'm going to see how long it takes me to go from idea to reality. And this day now is essentially the start of it. So this is later on this uh, afternoon or today. I'm going to be working on the a brief plan. Because I don't like writing big documents as to like how it's going to be. Because the change, like my ideas can change like on a daily basis so there's no point writing it down too much of it down and having it locked on a word document if it's going to change so much so yeah so what i'm going to do is do a brief business model plan like different sections and just do like a bullet point per one and just see what comes of it but yeah gonna try and make it work uh, it might take don't know how long it's going to take because it involves technology giving something else away there but uh, yeah let's see what happens i'm not giving too much away and also, idea, an idea isn't worth anything until you implement it. So I'm not that worried about that aspect. But I'd just like to timestamp this for my personal uh, reference, just to see how long it takes bet before between saying I'm going to do it and acting upon it and then making it actually happen. So, yeah, cool. Anyway, just finished at the gym. And this, this afternoon on Saturday, got loads of things to do. But, yeah, uh, leave you to it.